This is a study hot off the press. So again, it's not only our equipment manufacturers making new and better equipment, uh, but also our loggers are using them in new and innovative ways. So again, motorized grapple carriage, uh, but in this case, the contractor, and I will give credit to, um, so this is Matt Windmill of Gillian Logging, uh, working in the South Island here. He has started to integrate two winch assist units into his yarder. So in this case, you've got your classic yarder, live skyline, motorized grapple. You've got your winch assist on a steep slope, supporting the machine, the excavator on the slope, feeding, so bunching and feeding for the grapple. But the unique part of this operation, he's actually got a winch assist. This is on a narrow track. He's using another excavator as a tail hold block. And he's actually using this winch assist to live skyline. So what we've got is the yarder is able to use its full power on pulling, on pulling the main line. And we've actually got the second winch assist unit is doing the live skylining. So the operator simply has a small joystick in the cab, and they can adjust the skyline while they're pulling the load in, so keeping that maximum deflection um, and lowering the, the, the carriage down, lifting the carriage up while it's operating. So for a number of our older yarders, that's a Medill 171 that we were working with, um, you know, to try and lift your skyline while pulling on your main line is not something that works very well at all. So typically you have to stop raise your skyline, pull again, stop, raise your skyline, send the carriage out, lower the skyline down. But with this, they're able to raise and lower the skyline as it goes out and comes in respectively. So that's pretty neat. It does, again, introduce cost because you're putting an additional machine into the system, but it also increases your efficiency. On that front face, it was a very difficult site, very poor stand, a lot of snow damage, uh, but you know, so given the really difficult terrain, difficult, a uh, lot of broken tops, a lot of double leaders, um, still able to achieve 80 ton per productive machine hour. So that's a big productivity for a system working in a difficult site. On the back slope, which is when the winch assist was not working, um, uh, we, we dropped down to about 60 ton per hour. So still impressive, uh, but again, it's that boost that's being introduced by the use of uh, very innovative use of additional equipment.